Today, I take a chip out of northern New York. Hello, food freaks, and welcome to That's Rank. My name's Chris, thank you very much for joining me once again. Last weekend, I spent a little bit of time in Syracuse, and I got to hit up a number of my favorite food spots like Mother's Cupboard and Hides of Liverpool. I was reunited with my long lost love, Chick-fil-A, and I combed through your junk food aisles looking for the next smash and or trash. Naturally, chips caught my attention, and I got a lot of chips. Almost more than I know what to do with, so I've got a lot of content I need to be filming over the next months. However, we've got to start somewhere. So we're going to start with these bags of chips and I got three bags, all New York themed types of chips. The first two that I've got here are from a company called New York Chips. And thankfully they're from upstate New York where actual potatoes are grown and not from New York City where they'd be rummaging around Staten Island looking for materials that resembled potatoes. Yeah, sir, sir, no, no, that's not a potato. That's Joe Borelli. Just leave it right there, please. The very first time that I traveled to New York was back in 2006 when my buddy Sean and I decided on a whim to go to a playoff baseball game in Cleveland. On our way back from the confines of our Super 8 in Mentor, Ohio, we decided to grab wings in Buffalo because it's the thing that Buffalo is known for. The first place we saw was some spot called the Anchor Bar, so we pulled off and decided to give it a go. So unbeknownst to us was the fact that the Anchor Bar was the birthplace of the Buffalo Wing, and we were both just a little bit skeptical when the menu claimed ownership. We figured that that was just a gimmick that every wing place in town was probably running with. You've got to keep in mind that in 2007, we couldn't just do a quick Google search on our phones. We were at the mercy of the printed MapQuest directions and a whole lot of hope. So for supper that night, we ordered 50 wings between the two of us, which would be about 30 too many today, I would think. But through some miracle, we got through them and did not manage to kill each other with our farts on the rest of the ride home. I can honestly say up to that point in my life, those were the best wings that I had ever had. And even now they're still a top tier wing for sure. My wife actually gets super annoyed that we have to stop at the Anchor Bar every single time we go through Buffalo. But look guys, tradition is tradition. If I wind up divorced over this, it's worth it. I'm a man of principle. So the question becomes, how on earth does this wing translate into a chip? Hmm. First thoughts is that at a whiff, I expected it to be much more poignant, you know, vinegary hot sauce or smell, something like that, but it's not that at all. This almost has more of like a barbecue scent to it. So I'm kind of intrigued right now. And I love the fact that they use the thick cut deli style chips, like right on guys. Crunch is critical. Without the crunch, you've got absolutely nothing. Hmm, not what I was expecting at all, but I really like it. All right, let's get the first point out of the way, which is it does not taste like a chicken wing. You were never getting that recreated anyway. You're missing several key attributes, namely a fried fatty piece of juicy, crispy chicken. I do like the seasoning they've used here though. I was expecting something hotter, I guess, like there is hotness in it, but I was thinking more like a Ruffles chicken wing chip. This isn't that at all. It's much more mild, but I'm not doing it justice right now. The flavor's really strong. It's like a mix of a peppery hot sauce, a little bit of butter and a barbecue flavor. And it blends together really, really well. Mm. This is outstanding. If you're in New York, this is 100% worth tracking down and getting. If you like barbecue chips with a little bit of kick, grab you some of these. You know what, one for one, we're off to a great start today. Next up, Dinosaur Barbecue. Now, Dinosaur Barbecue is probably the most well-known barbecue restaurant in the Northeastern USA. If you wanna argue with me in the comments section, do feel free, that's fine. I'm just going based on what I read online in terms of consumer word of mouth. I've been there several times and the barbecue, I call it good. I like it, they do things the right way. They're just a little too reliant on the sauce for my liking, but I think that's more of a regional thing more than anything else. It's Northeastern, like up here in Ottawa, they'll slather on an entire bottle of sauce and a single rack of ribs. Like that's just how the locals prefer it. One thing I'm gonna note before I try these chips, just in case they suck, is that nobody loses here today. Uh, they've used the dinosaur name for licensing, but all the profits from the licensing deal are actually being donated to the food bank of central New York while they combat hunger. So that's really cool is that your money's going to a good place. Well, they smell really good. It's smoky, it's really pleasant. And I do like again that they are using the thicker deli style chip. Very, very nice. Oh, you can take a look at that chip. Looks very similar to the Buffalo wing one that we just tried from the anchor bar.
These are good. Although not as good as the Anchor Bar ones as I just had, but I'll, I'll explain why. So I find that the chicken wing ones are some of the most unique chips that I've had in a very, very long time because it's got that combination of that barbecue seasoning with uh, some hot pepperiness and that butter. It's just, it's a very unique chip, one the likes of which I've never tasted before. What I do like about this chip quite a bit though, is that it doesn't fall under like the regular barbecue banner. It's got some smokiness. It tastes a little bit closer to barbecue sauce than what a barbecue chip usually is. I don't know what a barbecue chip is supposed to be uh, telling us. Like at a barbecue, it doesn't taste like a hamburger. It doesn't taste like a hot dog. It doesn't taste like barbecue sauce. I'm not sure what part of the barbecue it's a part of. You have no doubt what part of the barbecue this is from because it's from a slathery rib and you can taste that on this chip right here. So really, really good job with these barbecue style dinosaur chips. Another reason I don't like these quite as much as the wing ones, the barbecue chips just aren't my favorite on the store shelves. I'm much more of a fan of chips that have vinegar. So stuff like, you know, dill pickle, ketchup, salt and vinegar. I like the bite and tang that comes from those flavors. This does have a little bit of tang to it, which I do appreciate, but it's much more smoky and savory. Still, it's a really, really good chip. I'm not gonna be giving the leftovers away, which you guys know is the biggest endorsement that I could possibly give any snack. Our third chip today comes to us from a very different brand. This one is Terrell's, and the snack is called Syracuse Style. So what the heck is Syracuse Style? Because up until now, I figured that Syracuse Style was pounding Bud Lights outside of the Carrier Dome, eventually stumbling into Insomnia Cookies at about two in the morning for a snack before passing out inside the Insomnia Cookies at 2.03 and getting arrested for trespassing. Now, I'm not sure that you can bottle a Syracuse experience quite like that, but uh, this does read that it contains a dash of this and a dash of that. So realistically, any flavor is fair game. Maybe it's a wintry flavor because like Syracuse, they're only relevant during basketball season. And it looks like they've got some fun cartoons on the back you've got this lady who's been playing badminton and there's a cat and they're eating chips apparently meanwhile there's a baseball game that is going on and the pitcher has stopped to take a chip break midway through you know what? maybe that's why Syracuse's baseball team is never competitive they're too busy eating chips while they should be it smells a little uh, vinegary I'm down and like their competitors from New York chips they are using the uh, thick cut deli style chips so good on them I don't know if this is Syracuse style. What it sort of reminds me of is a ruffle all dressed chip. I can't remember if you guys have all dressed chips in America or not, but assuming that you don't, these are pretty close. It's not spot on, but it's pretty close to a Ruffles All Dressed Chip. These actually drive a fair bit more vinegar than the Ruffles All Dressed Chip does. So while I don't actually prefer them to the Ruffles one, because the Ruffles one, dare I say, is nearly a perfect chip, these are actually pretty spectacular and my favorite chip today. And I actually wasn't expecting that because the anchor bar stepped up so hard, I didn't think that there was any way they could get topped. But you know what? Terrell's is making it happen. Good work, Terrell's. Hmm. So tell me guys, does your home state or province have any unique chips that I absolutely have to get my hands on and check out? Comment down below if that's the case and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it does help me out on my quest to produce a whole lot more content for you. I appreciate all of you almost as much as I appreciate these Syracuse style chips and I will go ahead and catch y'all in the next one. Ciao for now.